Hey guys, come along with us. Our Vegas trip is starting. Make sure to take what you need, but pack light if that makes sense too. We had two carry-ons and then one large bag that we checked on the plane. Also make sure to pay attention to liquid weight measurements because the lady in front of me had to get rid of some things, but we made it through TSA checkpoints just fine. We had about a seven hour layover in Denver and our daughter Jalen thought to find transportation for us to go into downtown. She found a train and then, you know, things to do downtown and it was wonderful. And she planned the whole itinerary for Denver and Vegas. So thanks for the itinerary Jalen and thanks babe for the wonderful trip. The original Denver Union Depot opened in 1881 originally. In 1894, it had a fire, but the city rebuilt it and it's much taller. And it also has the Crawford Hotel as well as many shops and other eye-catching things to see.
The Sam's number three downtown diner was delicious. It was built in 1927 and has 17 or 18 menu pages of diner favorites and more. And it won't break the bank. Treat and it's time to board the plane to Vegas. What a beautiful hotel. Time to check in. We just headed up to our room for a second to put our luggage there and then we're going back down to meet my brother and sister-in-law for dinner. Hey guys, so, so we're in Vegas. I'm waiting on my brother and sister-in-law right now. What's up? Oh, they told us we got fish. We got both got fish and chips. I'm ready. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been waiting on my sister-in-law to get here if I can eat. <laughs> Not what I wanted, but we gonna tear this up. Yeah, that look good. I should have got that. The Marvin got the bacon cheeseburger. That look good. That looks ready to grow. <laughs> If the Excalibur room tour video has not been put up, I will put it up soon and link it to the end of this video.
Excalibur Hotel and the grounds were beautiful and huge. It was time to see Vegas and I couldn't tour the whole hotel. It was just humongous, but maybe next time. We are certainly starving and it's time to grab some breakfast, but we're going to take in some sights along the way. Each hotel and property had its own theme, aura, atmosphere, and personality. You really had to have a good seven days. If you can be away from home for that long, seven days is awesome to go top to bottom the Las Vegas Strip. Maxi's was a great place to eat. We didn't get a chance to go there, but it's in the Link Promenade and they have all sorts of hot spots there from cookies to restaurants to casinos to just everything. Everything is there and it's a ooh and a ah for the eyes to see. The Hash House of Go Go was the highlight for our eating experience in Vegas, I must say. What we had, oh my goodness, it was the roasted chicken scramble. I believe that was the name of it. It comes with a biscuit and potatoes. It was basically a hash in a skillet with roasted chicken, garlic, onions, asparagus, rosemary, and scrambled eggs with cheese. My husband had my eggs, of course, but it was amazing. It came with fruit. We were stuffed and it was just amazing. It was the best. You have to have it if you go there. That tastes amazing. We are stuffed.
the Venetian has the romance and ambiance of Venice with exquisite decor, award-winning restaurants and lounges. The gondolas are there and the shows. Oh my goodness, we spent a good chunk of our day there. The Venetian was everything. Enzo, we're going to leave today. Okay. Now, do we all know each other? No. We're going to be best friends for a few minutes, okay? <laughs> now, do look down though, there is a step here, so try to be careful. Okay. We'll go from the carpet over to the step inside. You can hold on to me if you need my help, but let's do this one at a time. As soon okay. as you're getting going, sit down so I can let him in. Okay. okay. You can all hold right. on to me. Take it time. Take all right. Time. Ah uh -huh. 
Venice and Vegas, there were so many eye-catching things and things to tingle the senses of taste and smell, but then also there was the outdoors that made it look like you were outdoors, but you were really inside, and then there were the shops. Every shop you can think of was in the Venetian. It was awe-inspiring.
was so pretty out, we decided to do a photo shoot and play around with the camera and the tripod. The black tap was all the rage. It was a burger's connoisseur's heaven. And that was me. It had everything. And they were very allergy friendly. The service was wonderful. The food was great. You have to try the black tap. Oh yeah, did I mention their crazy shakes? They are known for their burgers and their shakes. This was so good. It was the perfect ending to the perfect night. Everything was amazing. Hell's Kitchen, you notice we were across the street. <laughs> So the volcano at the Mirage was canceled. There was a malfunction with the Technics, so maybe next time Mirage. But what we didn't miss was...
Now this show was set to Bruno Mars' Uptown Funk. So imagine every gush of water went off at every beat and hiss of the music. But I think you'll enjoy this too. We're so tired so we hopped the Vegas monorail back very close to our hotel we had a little bit of a walk but that was just enough to enjoy the night air We had a beautiful view of the Luxor and Mandalay Bay to enjoy in the morning and at night. It was about 10.30 a.m. and we were going out for a full day of sightseeing, but we were leaving going home that night, so we had to check out of the hotel by 11. But the Excalibur had a free baggage storage. Yes, free baggage storage all day till midnight and you can store your bags there, come back and get them and get to the airport. The breakfast at the MGM Grand Buffet was very average to us. Jalen told us to go to the pepper mill and that's where we should have went.
Fremont Street experience was the place to be. If you didn't do Fremont Street, you didn't do Vegas. This was such a good street show so they picked someone out of the audience to do everything that they did and some things they could do and some things they couldn't but it was hilarious When I tell you this street performer was everything, I mean it. He was a little bit past his prime, but he was awesome. We stood there and clapped and cheered and laughed for the longest. He had everybody going. He was something else. The last time I had been to Las Vegas was 1999 and it was basically a drive-by of the strip. Before that it was about late 70s, early 80s and old Vegas was older Vegas. But Vegas y'all is alive. Old Vegas is alive. I thought the, the old hotels had basically shut down and was just kind of like tourist attractions on the low low. Oh my goodness, they are thriving and flourishing. You gotta go to Old Vegas. And the Golden Nugget, honey, come on, I'll show you around.
Well, it's time to head back down the strip and no better way than the double decker bus. It's best, I would think, with the top off, but we couldn't find one that came by, you know, as soon as we needed it. So we got a double decker with the top on and it was great too, because we had a front row view.
Excalibur is huge. When it opened June 19, 1990, it was the largest hotel in the world with 4,000 rooms and over 70 acres. Yes, I did. I finished up the night with Dairy Queen. It was the perfect ending. And then we got our bags from the baggage storage and it was time to get to the airport to hop a plane home. Las Vegas, I love you. I want to go back. And next time, I think we'll stay a little longer because we didn't get halfway through the strip. But till next time, and what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, I guess. <laughs> Till next time. Go home. Yes. It's over vacation. It's over. <laughs> Which airline you gonna fly? Uh, Frontier. That getaway was relaxing and much needed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Share it with someone who wants to go or needs to go to Vegas.